I'm Larry Hemphill and uh, fishing guide here at uh, Lake Party. And these are uh, just a couple of the fish we caught uh, this morning. And uh, this is a, a large mouth, uh, probably close to seven pounds. And uh, we have a small mouth here, about three. And uh, of course the big one got away. We had a nice big small mouth, over five, but it got away. <laughs> but we've caught three or four or five fish this morning. It's been kind of slow, post front. But uh, these are really nice bass, typical of what you can catch. Uh, Party has big large mouth and of course big small mouth. And you can see how healthy and how thick they are. And uh, I'm going to just go ahead and put them back in here real quick. And uh, th th we're fishing on the 29th of June and it's really a post front, uh, post spawn situation and so as the day is worn on it's it's slowed down uh, which is kind of uh, normal even though it's cloudy. Pardee is uh, of course open from about uh, the first of March uh, in I think the first weekend something like that until about uh, the third week in October and uh, the post the pre-spawn of course is very popular here as it is in all lakes the fishing really starts uh, right around the 1st of March and uh, jigs are a very good bait to use and of course swim baits are very popular. They work for smallmouth and for largemouth and uh, usually a, a trout pattern, uh, uh, even you can find one something like a kokanee pattern. And uh, of course I love the, the jigs, uh, senkos will work well and any of the typical pre-spawn uh, type baits. Um, then as you get into the spawn, of course, you, you can sight fish the lake and almost anything that you would uh, use anywhere uh, works on the lake. And uh, then in the post spawn, uh, the top water bite is really fantastic here, as was uh, this uh, big fish, the big largemouth today was caught on a Mikey, on a uh, kind of a uh, swim bait that just swims across the top. and. Uh, uh, in fact, we had several bites, and that's what I lost the big smallmouth on. And then, uh, uh, but the topwater bite can be good certain times. It can be good almost all day long. It's very, very good here. Senkos start working well, and, uh, you know, then we start using small worms and uh, little grubs and um, any type of little small plastic baits work very, very well. And then in the fall, as the lake begins to drop, then the fish suspend a lot. And uh, top water is still good early and late. Uh, use a lot of uh, jigs, a lot of Carolina rigging, dragging behind the boat. Uh, four and six inch uh, robo worms work very well. I've been using chartreuse, uh, excuse me, morning dawn with a chartreuse tail. And uh, uh, senkos, again, will work well, especially with a little weight. Get them down 20, 30, 35 feet because you get a lot of fish suspended. And uh, there's a lot of offshore structure, a lot of island tops and things, big rolling flats. And Carolina rigging is an excellent technique to do in the fall, particularly a week or two or three before the lake closes when the lake begins to cool off. But you can see the lake is extremely high now. It's as full as I've ever seen it. And uh, you do need to check and see the water. When they start dropping the lake pretty fast, of course, the fish will move offshore and they do become a little harder to catch. Uh, a couple of weeks before the lake closes, uh, the, uh, the bite can really be awesome again for big smallmouth, just like we catch in the spring. And for largemouth too, for that matter. And uh, the whole lake has fish on it. Uh, I, uh, we're in the river arm now, but uh, the main body, and of course this is a wonderful lake to structure fish. There's island tops everywhere. In fact, you need to watch the buoys because there are shallow islands everywhere in the middle of the lake. But they're full of fish, and those are excellent things to fish in the summer and the fall because of course a lot of the fish will move out of these coves and they're, they're out looking for uh, under uh, uh, structure that they can find when the lake begins to uh, drop. I always tell people if, if you were in shallow water and your roof disappeared or you were sitting at home and your roof was gone, you're going you're gonna to take off too. And that's what the fish do. They follow the water and then you got to lo locate them offshore. But anyway, great lake and I hope you come and enjoy it. I'm Larry Hemphill. Uh, my phone number is 530-674. 0276 if you're interested in this lake or some of the other lakes I guide on. Okay?